super happy with it. All right, you just got your new guide TR420 thermoscope and you want to open up the box. Oh, nice little bag inside. Oh, it's pretty well made. Nobody wants to read any of that. Battery charger for two batteries, even though it comes with one. A what is that? So this just charges USB C. Maybe we should read the manual. Unique little thing. What is this? Sweet little strap for the bag. And the bag is actually pretty dang decent. Very nice and soft in there. I would definitely trust it uh, beating around in the truck and all that. There's our unit. I've been pretty impressed with this thing. I haven't shot with it, but we will today. Let's go through the menu. The first thing we have is our image quality adjustments. Next we have reticle. Here we can select different guns. The only gun that I have saved is A. Within that you can change the reticle type, reticle color, and reticle brightness. Next we have our zeroing. We can zoom in while we're zeroing. We can take a shot and go back to our original point of aim and then freeze it. From here, we wouldn't have to worry where the gun is pointed on the target because the image with the target is frozen. Then we would just be able to adjust our reticle to find our point of impact. In this example, we hit high right and I made an adjustment. Then we would save it by pressing OK. And we would have that as our 300 meter coordinates. Here's Wi Fi. We can turn this on and link the unit to our phone. Recording settings power supply, local settings, and other. Here's a quick menu. The first thing is picture in picture. We can move that around and turn it off. I like it in the middle. We can turn the brightness up and down. Hotspot tracking, which is just gonna tag the hottest image or images on the screen. Energy saving, stadiometric range finding, and our zeroing distance.
Here's my take on the Guide TR420. This little unit is brand new to the market and I'm calling it the entry level solution. It's 2000 bucks. If you want it for me, we'll talk about it. I am selling these. This unit is a 384 by 288 resolution, a 10.4 degree field of view, sub 30 millikelvin, very sensitive, great little image out of this thing. I'm really pleased with the image for the price point. I ran it for about four hours and used less than half of the battery when I was hunting with it a couple nights ago. Get a couple extra batteries, you'll be good to go all night. Front focusing, of course diopter adjustment. Getting through the menu is really easy. You can't get into any trouble with this when you're setting it up, when you're adjusting stuff. You have at least five different profiles. There's a ton of different zeroing and setups that you can have preset, pre-saved. It checks all the boxes. You're gonna be able to record. You're gonna be able to get it on your gun and detect out to a thousand and really ID stuff. Great at 200. I'm very happy with it. It's a pretty killer little unit. You know, it's the price point is what gets me on this thing. It's an aluminum bodied unit. It's got a good look to it. It's got a good mount. The base magnification is 2.4 and then you can go up to 9.6 on the top end. I didn't really go outside of 2.4. I don't do that much. I'd rather have the resolution and it held zero fine. I used it for two nights. I shot with it for, oh, probably a couple hundred rounds, really zero knit and shooting water bottles and stuff. And it was a great little unit. I definitely trust it for sure. Yeah, guides coming to the market. I'm one of their first dealers and I'd love to get one in your hands. Thanks for watching.